the way the tax works though is it's just a penalty. Like it's tax you don't have to pay if you play by the rules. So from a perspective of a billionaire business owner, they're just like, yo, if we don't have to pay that, I'm not paying that. And I think a lot of wealthy, successful people would be like, well, if you could avoid doing that, then don't fucking do it. Now here's the problem. With baseball owners, is like being in college, you got the, you're got you out for a jog on the baseball team and the pitching staff, and one guy just wants to run faster than everybody else. And you're maybe you guys were out drinking a couple beers the night before, and you're just like, dude, come on. What the fuck are you doing, Jeff? Slow down. Something along those lines of that group think of like, we're going we're gonna to run as a group together, even if some guys can run faster, even if some guys probably prefer to run slower. That's how Major League Baseball owners are to me, I think. And now that Steve Cohen's come into the mix, he's fucking trying to run laps around everybody. And I think people are more willing to catch up now. I don't think if Steve Cohen, I think if the, he's not an owner, I don't know if you see this much willingness because it's like, dude, ball's on the table. I'm going to go pay Justin Verlander $43 million. I'm going to give Max Scherzer $43 million. I'm going to give Frankie Lindor $341 million. I'm going to set the fucking market. And now you have a couple other owners, it seems like, that are more willing to get into it. The Padres are throwing money around like crazy. They offered $400 million to Aaron Judge, three, over $350 million to Trey Turner. Again, I think it's because Steve Cohen's kind of pushing that group. And now you're seeing other owners respond. John Middleton with the Phillies, another one. He's signing everybody. 